Good day, folks. So the Skydio 2 recently got some really interesting firmware updates. I covered one of the updates yesterday, and that was to do with case landing, precision case landing. In today's video, we're going to take a look at another feature that was added to the Skydio 2, and that's to do with the dual charger. The dual charger got some updates as well, and it makes it even more useful now. Once you update the firmware on the dual charger, you'll be able to use that second USB as a pass-through to charge other devices. And not only that, you can now use the dual charger as a power bank. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So as stated, the dual charger did get a firmware update as well with the big firmware update for the Skydio 2. We can now use the second USB to pass through and charge other devices. We can also use it as a power bank. But before we can make use of the new features, we do have to update the firmware on it. Updating the firmware on it's fairly straightforward and we're going to do so by plugging it directly into the Skydio 2 drone. But before we can update the dual charger, you have to make sure you connect your Skydio 2 drone to the app and update all the firmware on the drone first. Once we plug the dual charger into the drone, it's then going to pass the appropriate firmware over to the dual charger. Now Skydio does recommend attaching a second battery to the dual charger when you go to do the firmware update and the reason being is that you can use the LED light on the battery to signify when the firmware update has been complete. Now if you don't have any spare batteries you can still do the firmware update by just plugging it in without a battery. The only problem is you won't know when the update process has been completed. Skydio just recommends to leave it plugged in for five minutes and then it should be done. So let's go ahead and we'll update this battery now and then we'll take a look at some of the new features. So I'm going to use the USB-C cable that came with the Skydio 2 drone. We're going to plug one end into the USB-C port on the dual charger. doesn't matter which one you use. And then we're going to plug it into the Skydio 2 drone, the USB-C port at the back. Now it should turn green when the process is completed. So we'll just let that sit there. So I've been waiting five minutes here and according to Skydio that's supposed to turn green. However, I think that might be just a typo on their end. You can see at the beginning when I first plugged it in it kind of flashed and then it went out and then it came back on again. So I'm assuming that was the notification that the firmware had been transferred over. So I'm just going to go ahead and disconnect things now and we will test it out and we'll know soon enough whether that firmware did complete like that. So now that we've updated the firmware on this we should now be able to use it as a power bank. And you can use it as a power bank whether you have one battery installed or two batteries installed. The way it works it's going to draw power from the battery with the least amount of charge and then seamlessly transfer over to the second battery. So we're going to go ahead and plug in the beacon here. Now Skydio does state that sometimes you do have to power on the battery for it to work. So let's go ahead and press the button on the battery and we should see it start to charge here. And there we go. So now we'll test it with charging a phone. Now because this only has a USB-C port on it, I'm gonna have to use a USB-C to lightning and uh, we'll see if that works. And again, we'll probably have to power on the battery. And there we go, you can see it's now charging the phone. And because there's two USB Type-C ports on it, we can actually charge two devices at once. I'll go ahead and plug in the beacon again. And you can see there, it's now charging it. Of course, the other nice new feature is that we can use that second USB-C as a pass-through charger. So you can now charge your Skydio 2 batteries, have it plugged into the wall, and plug in your controller or beacon into the second USB-C port. Now it's going to charge the batteries first, and once they're fully charged, then it will start to charge the accessories. Now one thing to note is Skydio did mention that you cannot connect a second dual charger to it and daisy chain them, but the wording is kind of interesting. It says at this time. So I wonder if that's going to be another future update down the road where you can daisy chain a few of these together and charge several batteries off of one cable. Well folks, that's basically it for my video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We have a few more videos featuring the Skydio 2 and some of the new firmware update features. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.